Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Photos app is not opening on your Windows 11 computer or if it's not responding or nothing happens when you click on Photos app or if the Photos app is crashing. So if you face any kind of issue with the Photos app on your Windows 11 computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. The first step is to restart your computer. So sometimes a simple restart takes care of the problem. So restart your computer and after the system restart, open Photos app. Now the next step is to update Windows 10 or 11. So go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now if you have Windows 10, click on update and security. If you have Windows 11, click on Windows update, then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then open Photos app. Now the next step is to update Photos app. Now to update Photos app, open Microsoft Store on your computer. Now on the bottom left here, you can see library option, click on library. Now click on get updates. So over here you will find update all or get updates option, click on get updates and let, let all the updates complete. You can also find Microsoft Photos in the list and over here, if you see the update option, click on update and after the update, open Photos app. Now, the next step is to run Windows Apps Troubleshooter. For this, go to the Start menu, then click on Settings. Now, go to System. Now, if you have Windows 11, click on System. If you have Windows 10, click on Update and Security. You will find Update and Security. Click on Update and Security and then click on Troubleshoot. Now click on Other Troubleshooter or Additional Troubleshooters. Now scroll down at the end here, you can see Windows Store Apps. In Windows 10, click on it and then you will see the option which says Run the Troubleshooter. In Windows 11, you will find the Run option over here. Click on Run and once the troubleshoot is complete, open Photos app. Now the next step is to repair and reset Photos app. For this, go to Start menu and then click on Settings. Now click on Apps and then go to Apps and Features. Now in the search, you can type in Photos app. Now in Windows 10, click on it and then you will see Advanced option. In Windows 11, click on these three dots and then click on Advanced option. Scroll down here, you can see the repair option. Click on repair. Now after the repair, open Photos app. Still you're facing the problem, then click on reset, reset. And after the reset, open Photos app and then check. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall Photos app. For this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Now type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here and then hit the enter key. Now once done, copy the second command. So restart the computer first and after the system restart, run this command. This command is also provided in the video description. Now again type in PowerShell in Windows search box, make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here, hit the enter key. Now this will reinstall Photos app. Now you can open Photos app. Now once you open it, you can go to Microsoft Store once again, open Store on your computer and then Again, go to library and then if you see the update option for Microsoft Photos, click on updates, update all. Now, so click on library after you install it. Now, click on library and then click on get updates over here. And if you find any kind of uh, media add-on over here, so get all the updates and then open Photos app. Now, the next step is to run this PowerShell command. This command is provided in the video description. Now type in again, type in PowerShell in Windows search box, make a right click on Windows PowerShell, then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. Now paste this command, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. Now during this process, you will receive some errors in red color. So if you see any kind of errors in red color, 
just ignore it and let the process complete now once done close this window and now open photos app now the next step is to run sfc and dism command for this copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key and let the scan complete now the scan will take some time once this scan is 100 percent complete run the second command so copy this command this time on the same window paste the command hit the enter key once both the scan is complete now restart a computer and after the system restart open photos app now the next step is to update windows to the latest version using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer now the next step is to install hevc video extensions so install this hevc video extension and heif image extension so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website so open both the link now over here you can see hevc video extensions click on get installed app now this will cost you now the second extension is heif image extension which is free so installing these extensions has fixed the problem for many users so you, you can try this now the next step is to reset a computer now this is the last step so if nothing works you can reset a computer now before you perform reset make sure that you create a backup for your data because reset may result in data loss now for this go to the start menu then click on settings if you have windows 11 click on windows update now if you have windows 10 click on update and security now once you click on update and security you will see a recovery option click on recovery in windows 10 11 click on windows update then click on advanced option and then you will see a recovery option click on recovery here you can see reset this pc click on reset pc now here are two options keep my files which will remove application and settings but it will keep your personal files remove everything will remove all your personal files application and settings so select the option which you want and then click on local reinstall now once you click on local reinstall click on next and let the installation complete so once windows is reinstalled now set up a computer and then open photos app and 
one of the steps should help you to get your photos app working and get your video editor working on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the photos app on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel